Good morning, yogis. It's Michelle. Thank you for tuning in. Today's class will be more about relaxing and de-stressing. So it's really great for beginners just getting started to yoga. I hope it helps. <laughs> Let's get started lying on our backs. If you have a block, have it handy somewhere along the right side of your mat. So we'll go ahead and just take a moment to stop, to be able to restart again. Changing maybe our perspective, allowing ourselves to ground. Once you feel pretty comfortable with letting go of any fidgeting, just allow yourself to breathe without altering your breathing. Just simply notice it. Noticing the parts of your body that are in contact with the mat. Starting at your feet. Working your legs up the back, the legs, the back body, your shoulders, your neck and feeling the back of your head just resting somewhat heavily in the mat just beginning to melt let's take one clearing breath together deep breath in through your nose Open up your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> and then we'll begin with our yoga breathing, our ujjayi breath. Let's place the right hand on the belly. This helps to make the breath more tangible. And then your left hand on your heart. So we'll take a nice deep breath in to the belly feeling a slight rise in the right hand. As you guide your breath up to your heart, lifting and broadening the shoulders, the heart, and then exhale. Allow your chest to sink in, the belly to drop back down. Do that a few more rounds, inhaling through your nose, constricting the back muscles in the throat and exhaling out of your nose restricting the same muscles emptying all the way to the bottom take a few more rounds just like this on your own relax your jaw your face and tune your gaze behind the eyes and visualize the breath moving from the base of your spine all the way up across the collarbones. Exhaling, observing the body just melting into the mat. And then use this time to set an intention or a centering thought for your practice. And let that intention remind you to breathe, not just when you're here on the mat, but when you're off the mat. On your next inhale, we'll start to stretch the arms over our head, just like our morning stretch, bringing your legs together and maybe even walking your hands behind you up an imaginary rope getting into the side body noticing those sensations take one more deep breath in and on an exhale relax your arms draw your navel to your spine cinch your ribs in towards each other and down towards the hip bones and then take a breath here imprinting your spine down into the mat and 
on an exhale, bring one knee in at a time. Taking your hands on the front of your shins, just begin to rock and roll side to side, massaging your low back. You can flex and point your feet a few times here. Maybe even start to find your inner smile, a little sparkle in the eyes and a sense of curiosity. And then we'll take the hands on the knees and circle your knees. I like to start wide just to get into those tight areas. And when you get there, notice any clicking. And if there is, Make your circle a little smaller. Breathe a little deeper. Allow your breath and movement to be one. When the knees touch together, reverse your direction. And then same thing here, noticing any clicking or even discomfort. Make your movement smaller. Breathe a little deeper. Just one more time. We'll keep the right knee in, flexing your right foot. Place your left foot down. If this feels okay, stay right here. If it feels okay to stretch your leg all the way out in front of you, do it nice and slow as we learn about our bodies during these transitions. So if you start to bend and you feel a little something halfway there, pause there. Roll around your right ankle a few times to the right and left and even rock your ears left and right a few times. And bringing it back to center, slowly lift your chin towards your knee, giving the back a nice big stretch, getting into your hip flexors, and then very gently lower your head down and slide your left foot in. Placing your right foot down, bring your left knee in. And if you stretched your right leg out in front of you, slowly move into that space here. And then start to roll around your ankle a few times and reverse it. And then pause, lifting up your head, neck, and shoulders. And then gently lower back down. Bringing both knees back in. And we're going to take a nice, gentle, happy baby pose. That's the baby. So in happy baby pose, we want to root our tailbone down and forward, shoulders back and down, and your knees close to your shoulders or your side body, but without forcing, just feeling. And if it feels appropriate, rock a few times right and left. Focusing on your inhales and exhales. And then we'll find a little pause and then kick into your right hand. Very slowly try to stretch your right leg out. If you notice when you straighten the leg, the tailbone lift, just stop there. It's good enough. Trust the process. Breathe deeply and then bring your right foot back in, kick into your left hand, move very slowly in your transition. Then we'll 
we'll bring it back. We'll bring both knees back in and then we'll cross your right knee over your left. Squeezing the thigh bones towards each other, interlace your fingers on one of the knees so it doesn't matter whichever one feels more comfortable, more natural to you. And then once or twice, a little rock side to side. And remember, when we get into the pose, we wanna to try to cultivate a little bit of stillness to focus deeper into our breathing. On the exhales, let them linger a little longer feeling the physical body relax, the mind soften and get quiet. We'll lift the legs up and then just gently switch. Resting the hands, rocking it side to side just a few times and then cultivate stillness. Notice when you're scrunching up your face or pressing the lips and teeth together. Just try to relax all of that. When we do that, it causes tension in our neck. And we're going to get into releasing tension in our shoulders and our traps, which when those muscles are tight, tends to bring tension into the neck. Go ahead, release. Lift up your legs this time and roll around your ankles. If you need the support of your hands, use them. If you have a block, place your block underneath the low back. This will help you be able to lift up your hands so you don't need the support. And then we're gonna take the right knee back in. Notice both feet nice and flexed, lowering very slowly the left leg. And then with your left hand, relax your feet and start to guide your right knee over to the left. And we'll take a few cleansing breaths here, breathing in deeply through your nose. Exhale, opening up your mouth and say, ah. Two more, just like that. Deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. Ah. One more. Bringing your gaze back to center, bringing your right knee back in, and sliding the left knee in, flexing your feet, interlace your fingers around the front of the left shin as you start to straighten out your right leg. Relax your feet, and with your right hand, guide your left knee to the right. Reaching with your left hand to the left, anchoring your left shoulder down. Three cleansing breaths here. Inhale. Open up the mouth and ah. Again, inhale. And one more. Ah. Inhale, bringing your gaze back to center. Bring your left knee in. Slide the right knee in. 
And then we're gonna take our hands behind the legs and just gently begin to rock and roll up and down your spine. Take your time here, easing the low back onto the mat. And when you feel pretty good there, lift up your head. So you're off the shoulders, getting lower middle back. And then when you're ready, as smoothly as you can, you'll rock your way up to seat. And then one of those times, it'll happen. Crossing at your ankles. And then we'll roll over to all fours. Spreading your fingers nice and wide. Tucking your toes behind you. And we're not going into our cat cows where the knees are under the hips. We're gonna walk the knees back a little. And we're gonna exhale. Sit the weight back towards the heels whether the heels touch or, or the hips touch your heels or not. Just feel a nice stretch there. On an inhale, lift your belly. Lean the shoulders as far over the wrist as you can, maybe even lowering your hips. Exhale, the hips lift. You found, find a little more of a cow spine exhale or inhale rather you come up finding your cat back so it's the opposite of your cat cows cow pose we inhale back exhale angry cat your spine forward inhale and exhale. If you want to move a little quicker, feel free. This will be your last one. Exhale, lift the belly, the ribs. And now we'll bring our knees back for our cat cows, untucking the toes and waving your spine. Inhale, lift your tail as the belly dips down to the earth. Pull your shoulders back, broadening the collarbone and pulling and opening the chest forward. If it feels good, lift your gaze. On an exhale, push down and away from the earth, round your back body. Gaze back between your knees, thighs, or all the way up to the navel center. Inhale, let the belly dip as the tail and heart lift. Exhale, round and curl. Two more. If it feels good, you can pick up your feet and tuck your toes. Exhale. And inhale. Bring it back to neutral. We're gonna walk the knees back out again. And we're gonna come into a supported forearm plank. So for those of you who are new building the core strength, this is a great modification. Notice how my knees are not under my hips. I'm still lifting my low belly and my ribs to my spine, lengthening my tailbone towards my heels. If I wanted to lift my knees, my spine shouldn't change much at all. But I'm gonna keep them low here, just for three. Exhale, tighten up the front body. Inhale, feel a slight traction where you pull your elbows back and the heart forward. Exhale, 
feel a contraction in your front butt. And then we'll place the tops of the feet down, lower our thighs, then our pubic bone, and then the hips. Once your hips relax, relax everything below your belly. Forearms down, lined up with your wrists. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Tractioning your spine by energetically pulling your elbows back towards your hips. Broadening through the collarbones and finding that place where your shoulders aren't all the way up by your ears and they're not all the way down towards your waist. They're somewhere right in the middle. Take one more deep breath in here. Releasing a lot of tension in our low backs. And then we're going to get into the shoulders, a little bit into the traps to release tension in the deltoid in our neck. So slide your hands out a little bit more coming into seal pose for just a brief pause. And then we're gonna take the right arm out to the right. This can be a little intense, but we're not staying long. Thread the right arm across the top of your chest. Your right palm faces up, and then you can make a little pillow with your fist to rest your forehead. If you need more, your hand. If you want even more, the left side of your head. And if it makes sense, you can give your hips a little wiggle here. So this is just giving that stretch to the deltoid, your triceps releasing tension in the shoulders. Let's bring our forehead back to the hand. Lift ourselves up and then do the best you can to walk your left hand to the right and then your palms come down and energetically pull your hands towards each other and then lower your chin towards your chest. So now we're more into the traps, releasing the tension in the neck. On your inhale, lift your lower belly to your spine. Feel the spine slightly lifting and lengthening. We're going to keep our right hand where it is. Start to slide the left hand back and bend your left knee. Take your left knee over to the left where the knee lines up with the outer left hip. Flip to your right palm, reach to the right with your left arm. Start to lift the arm to the sky. You might stop somewhere along here the slower you move, the more you're going to understand how the body works. Don't force the left arm down. Don't force your left knee down. Just take a nice deep cleansing breath in. Open up your mouth and say, ah. Two more. One more. As we come back to center, the left leg will meet back next to the right. We'll bring our left forearm down and we'll just take a little counter stretch. Reach your right arm to the right. Roll around the wrist a few times. <laughs> and then bring your right elbow down. 
not under the shoulders this time. Press down with your feet, your hands, and find seal pose again. And then take your left hand to the left. And on an exhale, thread the left hand across the top of the chest where your palm faces down. Use your right hand as a pillow for your left cheek, your forehead, or feeling a little more sensation right side of your head. Relax your jaw, relax your face, and allow your gaze to turn behind the eyes to observe every little bit of your breath, keeping you focused here on your mat, in your body, and in that space of releasing tension. And she shows up without us even realizing it. But when we get into our practice, we start to see where that tension is stored. If you're ready, you're going to take your right hand and walk it over to the left. Turn your palms down this time energetically about 50%, so don't work too hard. Pull your hands towards each other until you feel the traps, the muscles located between your neck and your shoulders, and then lower your chin down to the right bicep. Take a deep breath in, lift your lower belly. Pulling the breath through the sides of your waist, the ribs and the back body, and all the way up across the collarbones. On your next inhale, we're going to bend the right knee. Start to slide the right hand back and then all the way over to the right. Start to roll over to your left hip. Let the right knee move to the left as you find just a gentle twist. Three cleansing breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, open up and say, ah. Hi, boo-boo. Hi. <sighs> we'll gently bring the right leg next to your left. Bring your forearms back down. And just a gentle counter stretch with your left hand. Wiggle your fingers, roll around the wrists. Awesome. We're gonna take the hands now to line up with our floating ribs, nipples and fingertips line up. And then we're gonna take our forehead to the mat. Your feet are pressing down as if they were pointing forward. And then we're going to take our hands and interlace them, pressing the palms together. If you have a strap, the strap might come handy here, or even a towel. Just take a deep breath with your forehead on the mat. See if you can lift your hands away from your tailbone. And then we're going to lift the forehead off the mat, peeling the chest off the mat, activating our thighs, lifting the knees. Inhale in and exhale out. And one more inhale in and 
and exhale out. The end of the exhale, release back down the forehead and your hands by your floating ribs, fingertips by your nipples. Notice the wrists line up with the elbows, shoulders with the elbows. And then on an inhale, start to peel yourself up into a cobra pose with bent elbows or straight arms. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Cleansing breath out. <sighs> Inhale, look over your left shoulder. And a cleansing breath. <sighs> Inhale, back to center and up. Exhale, lift your belly. Bring your toes to touch. And for three breaths, bring your hips to your heels, fingertips out in front of you. If this is too much, just lift your heels. Really start and end your practice honoring your body and not forcing it to do something it doesn't want to. And then, that, then you don't love the practice of yoga. Practice is yoga of yoga is to help you get into your body and help you feel where your imbalances might be. We're going to slowly lift back up. We're going to move our way into a downward facing dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Press down into the index knuckles and your thumbs and grip the mat with all 10 fingertips. Pick up your feet, tuck your toes. And for a brief moment, walk your toes up without moving your knees. Our first down dog, we're gonna take it nice and easy. Maybe your only down dog. So start by lifting your low belly. As the low belly lifts, lift your knees and start to push down into the knuckles of your index fingers and thumbs and then all 10 fingertips and press it back, downward facing dog. Keeping the knees nice and soft, arms straight and strong, ears line up with your biceps. Bend your left knee and do your best to get your right heel down. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, lift the right heel, bend your right knee and lower the left heel down. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, lift up both heels again. Soften your knees, move your heels towards the earth, and then very slowly walk your hands back. Feel every little bit of each hand pressing down. Notice where tension might lie around the neck and shoulders. And when you come all the way back to your feet, Separate your feet to fist distance. Grab a hold of opposite elbows. Notice how my belly is rested on my thighs. If you need to bend your knees a little bit more, honor that space. Let your head dangle. Shake your head gently, no. Shake your head gently, yes. I like to end with yes. And then if it makes sense, sway side to side. Notice the movement of my feet. They're just 
following the natural flow of my body. I'm not forcing my foot down because I think if I force my feet down, I'm going to feel it in my knees. And I want to be really mindful of my joints. Release your hands. Lift your low belly. And on an inhale, ragdoll your way all the way up to standing, pushing down into all four corners of your feet. When you get there, roll your shoulders for three. And then notice here how my knees are nice and soft. I'm not locking my legs. And then reverse your circle. Inhale and exhale. When we do stuff like this, it's strength work, mobility work for the joints. Nice. On an inhale, spread the fingers nice and wide. At the top of the breath, interlace your fingers. Extend your index fingers and thumbs. If it's possible here, Try to straighten out your legs the best you can, pressing down into all four corners of your feet. Lift your lower belly as your tailbone lengthens towards your heels. Inhale, get longer through the sides of your waist. And on an exhale, take a gentle side bend to the right. Don't go so far that it compromises your breath or it moves your left shoulder forward. You want to keep the shoulders and hips lined up. Inhale, press down, rise up. And exhale, stretch it over to the other side. The more you root down into the outer edge of your right foot, the more you might feel of a stretch on the right side butt. Inhale, press down, rise back up. And a gentle bend your knees here. Open up the arms and we're gonna fold it all the way back down. Chin comes to your chest at the very end of your exhale. And then we'll take three pulsations. Inhale, lengthen your spine. So if you need to bring your hands all the way up, to do your best to get shoulders on your hips, do that. And on an exhale, we try to straighten the legs. And if you need your hands, give it a gentle pull. As you push, you place your hands here, push your legs into the hands. Inhale, look up. And exhale, let it go. One more. Inhale, look up. Notice I'm not lifting my head all the way up. That's going to compromise my neck. It's nice and long, nice and neutral. And exhale, let it go. Soften your knees. Walk your hands back out. Notice every little bit of your fingertips gripping the mat. The knuckles of your index fingers pressing down. We'll find our way into a high plank pose for one breath in. Lift the belly, wrap the ribs in. And exhale, lift the hips, press it back to your downward facing dog. Maybe the legs are a little straighter, maybe they're not. On an inhale, lift your heels, look to the top of the mat, and take little baby steps all the way up. When your feet make it, make their way all the way up to your hands, soften your knees, look forward, 
reach your arms up for chair. Exhale, lift the toes, and then inhale, rise all the way up. Just simply lift your gaze. Keep your biceps by your ears. That's going to help keep the neck nice and long. If you want to lean back into your back bend a little more, lift your kneecaps, firm up your thighs, and lengthen your tailbone to your heels. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Float your hands by your side. Interlace your fingers behind you. Make a fist with your hands, pressing the palms together. Bring your knuckles to your right hip and bring your right ear to your right shoulder. It should feel really good. And if it makes sense. Shake your head gently no and gently yes. Inhale, bringing it back to center and exhale. The knuckles will come to the left and you'll bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Shaking no. Shaking, yes. Inhale, bringing it back to center. Keep your hands for a moment and separate your feet, either the width of your hips or wider or the width of your mat. I happen to have an extra long, extra wide Lululemon mat. It works for me. We're going to turn the heels in slightly. We're going to release our hands to the sky. We're going to start to bend the knees where the knees aim towards the second toe. We're going to lower our hips. And just as the heels lift, that's where you stop lowering. Breathe here with either your arms up or you can take your hands to your heart because we'll be going there. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bringing the hands to your heart, lower your right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. If you need a block here, sit on your block or books. Take your right hand to the right and sweep the left arm up. Take a deep breath here. If you want more, you can take your left hand, palm up on the back for a half bind, or take the right arm around to meet it. Either bear claw your hands or if it's possible, the right hand grabs your left wrist to open up the shoulder. But if this is causing more tension, I say back out. We'll bring our hands back to the heart. And then over to the other side. Left hand to the left, right arm to the right. And then wherever you moved on the other side, do your best to create balance. I have two people that have messaged me privately. One is Marsha, my second mother, who I love dearly. And one is Hannah. And I created this for you guys. So thank you. I needed that. We're going to bring our hands back to our heart. 
And then we're gonna place our hands down, load the hips back up, bring your feet just a little closer. And then we're going to step the left foot back. Make sure the left foot is lined up with the left hip and not behind this right foot. Lower your knee, untuck the back toes, and take your hands to your right thigh, peeling your chest off of the leg. Take notice of the knee over your ankle, energetically driving the knee forward without going over the ankle, but yet energetically with the right heel, pulling the outer right hip back. So there's no tension here, it's here in the glute. One breath, just inhale, sweep your arms up. Create as much of a back bend as you can. And then we'll inhale, frame the right foot and sit back for a half split pose. So here would be a great time for those of you who have tight hamstrings or tight low back, because a lot of times in yoga, I see this because their hands don't reach. These blocks act as extensions of our arms. one more breath here. Press down with your right heel and left knee and shin and draw the two towards the midline. We're gonna inhale, bend the right knee, take your hands to the inside of the right foot and move your right foot a little bit to the right, not off your mat and not any wider than your hip. Hands will stay here and just gently move forward. And for a moment, let the kneecap stretch a little bit over your toes as you melt the front of your left hip down. Notice your back foot. Make sure your left toes are still pointing back and they didn't turn in or you didn't roll out. So we constantly have to check in with our alignment. You can stay right here, moving the knee back under the ankle. You can also tuck your toes, lifting the knee and maybe even rolling to the outer edge of that right foot. Maybe even for just a moment, taking the right hand and pushing the knee away. We'll bring the right foot back in, right knee back down. Sweep your right arm forward as the left heel lifts up. Reach up and back for the left foot or ankle. Give it a gentle squeeze. And if that left foot is hard for you to reach, lift it up wherever it is. Reach back wherever it is and breathe here. Open up the chest. And we'll gently release, bringing the right foot back in. Tuck your back toes, hands to the ground. You're gonna step your left foot up to meet your right. So if you wanna use a little momentum, lift the knee, push off. Oh, maybe you didn't make it. Do it again. Maybe it didn't make it. One more time. Oh, there it is. 
deep breath in, halfway lift. And exhale, let it go. Bring your hands back down and step your right foot back. Lower your right knee, check in, knee over ankle. Top of the foot comes down, point your toes to the back of your mat. Use your hands to pull yourself away from the thigh. So as the chest lifts, you're still pushing that left knee forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Just one full breath in. Lift your belly, lift your ribs. And exhale, hands frame your left foot. Straightening out the left leg the best you can. Lifting up the left toes, squaring the two hips off. Shoulders and hips are aligned. Inhale, pull the belly back and the ribs in. Press down with the left heel and the right knee and gently guide the two towards each other. Keep firming up this thigh. Sometimes you have to put your hand on it to make it more tangible. Like, come on, get Get engaged and give yourself these little pep talks. We have to be our own cheerleaders sometimes. On your next inhale, we're going to bend the left knee again. Move your hands to the inside of the left foot for your lizard lunge. We'll gently melt the right hip a little further the left knee a little bit more over your toes for a gentle stretch. And then you can stay right here or tuck your back toes. Lift the right knee, make sure your right thigh is firmly engaged. Roll to the pinky edge of your foot and push with your left hand the knee away, energetically pushing back into the hand. And then we'll lower the left foot, lower the right knee, reach forward with your left hand, pick up the right foot, and then exhale, reach back for the right foot or ankle. Whether you grab it with your hand or a strap, or maybe you don't have a strap or towel available, keep reaching, keep breathing. Trust the process, trust that one day with practice, you will get that foot. We'll gently start to release, bringing the left foot in, the top of the right foot down. And then this time, we're gonna sweep the left knee back and walk your knees up between your hands. The next one is called Thunderbolt Pose. We'll do for just three breaths. It can be intense. You do need a block or a strap or a books. So I have it on the low side, but I have people in my class that have three blocks underneath them. No matter how many blocks you need, you're still getting the benefits of the stretch in the front of your thighs, your kneecaps, your shins, your ankles, your feet. Feels so wonderful. These sensations that you might be feeling in your feet, if you are, you're in the right place. You need this. You need this. These feet hold us up all day long. We need that support. Just one more breath. You did great. I have a client 
Her name is Mati. This happens to be her favorite pose. She lies all the way back and she could stay there for 10 minutes. One day, it's been 20 years, I haven't gotten there yet, but that's not the purpose. Let's slowly come off the block, cross it your ankles or your shins. I like the shins because I like to feel the bone massaging the muscle of one of my calf muscles. We'll start to stretch the legs out. Bringing your right foot in, sit up nice and tall here. So. Excuse me. If you can bring the right foot in all the way here without the rounding and the hunching, that's awesome. But if not, slide your foot out until you can align your spine in a neutral place where the shoulders are back and down and the neck is nice and long and spacious. Take your right foot, cross it over the left, and take your left elbow to hug the right knee. Take your right hand behind you. Inhale, feel your spine lengthen. Feel the crown of the head lightly floating upward. Stay right here, exhaling fully and completely. Inhale, bring it around back to center taking your right foot in and lifting and lengthening the spine. Stretch your right foot out and bring your left foot in. One deep breath in and a deep breath out. Take the left foot over to the right and take your right elbow to hug the right, left knee. Hi, sweet baby. And left hand behind you. Gaze as much over your left shoulder as you can, releasing tension, not getting into tension. Don't force, force, force. It's not about that. It's about just leaning in a little, allowing some breath to hit those areas, and exhale, relaxing. Inhale, bringing your gaze back to center as well as the left foot, and slide the left foot out. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, and on an exhale, Find your forward fold with a nice long spine. So if that means your hands land on your knees, use your hands and the knees to work together as if you were pulling your knees back to pull your heart towards your toes and then flex your feet, feet to your toes. Notice if you're sticking your chin out just lower your chin a little to find length in all sides of your neck. And for those of you who have been practicing a while, go for it. On your next inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Open up your feet a little and very slowly start to roll all the way down. Once your head touches, relax your arms. Bring your right ear to the mouth. Take a deep breath in here. Nice quality exhale. <sighs> Inhale, gently bring your gaze over to the left. Deep breath in. Ah. 
inhale back to center take the right ear back to the right and this time sweep your left arm up and over your head inhale here and exhale complete relaxation bring your head back and the left arm back and then left ear to the mat and reach your right arm up and over your head inhale and exhale ah. inhale your way back to center bringing the soles of your feet together knees nice and wide and there's no right or wrong way of having your feet if you want them further away from your tailbone or closer you find what works best in your body take your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart and then take a moment to remember a time where you felt without a doubt loved fully and completely by someone maybe an animal friend and then take yourself back to a time where you knew without a doubt you loved someone or an animal friend and then I encourage you today to move through a space with love with gratitude for all that is we're going to end our class here or start to separate your feet out to your shavasana reminding yourself of your intention you set reminding yourself of the love in your heart Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.